Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC, Rights of Man. We're playing as Bavaria on very hard difficulty. In the last episode we did a lot of diplomatic work. Uh, we are now in an alliance with um, Austria, which is uh, important because they are still emperor, but they might not be emperor for very long. If the uh, electors were to vote right now, we would get three votes. Saxony would get two votes um, and Austria and Nassau would get one, which would basically put us right at the top. And uh, this is very good. I really like it. Um, we might want to go for some... Uh, oh, Palatinate have set Nuremberg as the rival. Interesting. So now they might not be allied anymore. Ansbach, Frankfurt, Salzburg and Nassau. It is not a crazy strong alliance, but it is an alliance. Um, how many favors do we have with Trier? One. How many do we have with Cologne? We are allied with them for a little bit longer. Two. And these guys are at one as well. So we would have to fight on our own. I don't like that. Um, yeah, well... We'll have to see. We'll have to see how we can do this. Uh, Memmingen allied with Salzburg. We are at the max of our relations right now. Um, uh, I wanna. I kind of wanna conquer the Oberpfalz um, first because it always has been historically um, a Bavarian province. But second, because it will allow us to fabricate claims on Cheb, which is Bohemia's gold province. And that is very, very tasty. I really want that gold. <laughs> Ooh, tyrannical nobles. A representative of the people living in an area dominated by one of the most prominent families of the nobility has approached the throne today, imploring the duke to take action against what he claims are systematic abuses of power against the people there. As the ruler of Bavaria, Albrecht III has a responsibility to protect his people. Not doing so will make us appear weak and may harm the long-term growth of the province. The nobility would likely not take too kindly to chastising such a powerful member of the ranks, however. I could turn a blind eye, which is going to cost me base tax. Holy crap. Or I could chastise the landowner. This is going to turn the nobility into disloyalty. That's not good. Loses 15 loyalty. They're currently at 49.9. So they would drop down to 35. I gotta do it. I'm not gonna lose base tax. That's just not how that works. Chest size the landowner. Okay, we're done improving relations with Cologne. Uh, we definitely want to improve them with Brandenburg a little bit more. Um, is there any other person that we could snipe? We could try to make a move on Mainz. They are only a hundred away. If we improve relations with them and all that, then we might actually be able to get there. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Let's confirm that. Um, improve relations with them. Disloyal estates. The nobility, what are they going to do? 35.07. Um, so long as the loyalty is at least 40%, they will provide bonuses. Um, if they should ever become disloyal, they will instead provide countrywide penalties. Uh, the loyalty will drift towards 50% over time, which is good. Currently, they're hampering our manpower recovery speed and costing us a little bit more maintenance. Um, below 40%, but I think we can live with it. The, uh, they are the only estate that has any land, so that's why the burgers really don't have any teeth um, to bite us, which is fine. I might have to start a spy network. Um, our claim on this one will end in 69 that is fine. Um, we don't want to go too heavy on the spies. We really don't want to jeopardize our election. Um, Austria. Their ruler is 35 years now. He could die. He could die. I like it. Um, our power. Our power. I spend a lot of power on developing Munich um, to get ready for the Renaissance. Um, I think we want to go with diplomatic ideas later. How's the tech? Uh, we still need a good amount. 598. 
An admin is actually our weak our weak point. I could theoretically go and buy one of these guys. Oh, Palatinate has fabricated a claim on me. Well, I want to see you enforce that. I think I'm going to go for this guy. He's basically going to pay for himself. 10% um, more... Yeah, well, no, he's not He's not really going to pay for himself, but um, at least he's bringing some money in. So we're going to we're gonna lose one per month, and he is going to bring us 0.33 per month. Um, so we're only going to pay 0.6. I think that's going to be that's going to be worth it. So let's let's go for him. Um, national tax and all that. Why not? We are down on the army maintenance. How's the fort going? We're still bringing up the army tradition. I might actually deactivate the fort. Uh, how much are we paying for that? One. If I were to mothball it. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. We might be attacked at any minute. So, I mean, not too much is happening. How's, how's, how's the, the voting situation? So Mainz is getting there, minus 77. If I can swing an alliance with them, I will. They have Arnsbach as the rivals, Frankfurt and Nassau. We are actually natural allies. Um, can I change my rivals? Can't really. I basically stopped being interesting to Mainz when I allied Arnsbach, which I shouldn't have done. Let's just go up in, in speed. Oh, Ansbach broke the alliance with the Palatinate. And the Palatinate accepted a military alliance with uh, Würzburg. Okay. Why are you doing that, buddy? Are you are you keen on dying? Salzburg and Nuremberg. We still can't attack them because we have a truce until 55. Palatinate is allied with Würzburg. I could ally them. I'm not going to because... Yeah... No, I don't have any relationship slots. I'm only going to ally electors. This is the game that we have to play. This is how Austria plays normally. Uh, I'm not sure why they're not doing that this time. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna lose Trier. I gotta gotta do something here. Come on. Three, two, one. Um, bring up relations with Trier again. Oh, look in 79. Yeah, we can't lose their vote. That's not good. Now we need to get our prestige back up. Uh, war would definitely be very good for that. Um, if we can, if we can get mines um, on our side, then we're going to look um, way better. Now oh, Baden entered uh, military alliance with Ansbach. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm just going to go up in speed. Um, HRE games just are a little bit different than normal. Um, European and Solace games because you have to tread very carefully. The aggressive expansion is increased and you can't just take land willy-nilly. Plus the favor system kind of demands that you um, do stuff very cautiously. Oh and we got the Renaissance. Since the 14th century the wealthy and powerful in the Italian city-states have been patronizing artists and scholars willing to explore the old Roman and Greek societies of their forefathers. As a cultural movement, the Renaissance already encompasses most of the region and has had a profound impact on literature, art, philosophy and music. Humanist scholars are also analyzing the society in which they live, comparing it to the ideals of the classical philosophers. At the turn of 1452, Renaissance humanism has grown into a more mature movement, ready to permeate all aspects of society. A new ideal for rulers, as well as those who are ruled, is spreading as quickly as the early printers can distribute copies of these new ideas. A true Renaissance humanist is an expert on everything from politics and philosophy to art, textual analysis, music and architecture. The Renaissance is now ready to reshape the world to better fit its classical ideals. Nice, so this changes everything. This means that uh, countries that have not yet fully embraced the Renaissance institution will receive an increasing technology cost penalty of 1% per year up to at most 50%. So we've got to make sure that this goes well. Now we're going to profit from the fact that we brought up Munich to 50 development because we're going to gain 0.20 per month. Uh, we'll be ready to embrace this in 1494. 
It is going to cost us money, so if we go over here, no, what ideas? Tech, institutions. Um, there's the button for embrace. It's grayed out now because we don't have it. Embrace in zero of five provinces, totaling 0.0% of Bavarian development. Um, we could embrace this. It's gonna cost us money, but um, the more provinces um, do embrace this, the better. Ingolstadt doesn't gain anything. The others kind of do. So um, this is, I guess, because Ingolstadt is lower than 10 development. I could bring it up theoretically. I'm not sure if it's really worth it, but on the other hand, might as well maximize those thresholds now. Shouldn't we? What are we gaining the most of in terms of power points? I don't want to use my power points for this. Is the Palatinate already on military tech 4? They are not. This might actually be an opening for us going after them. Uh, we've got this discovery, don't care about that. Uh, where did where did the Renaissance originate? Uh, over here in Lucca. Okay. That's alright, I guess that is a trading city. Yeah, oligarchic republic. Fine then. I'm gonna try to spread this as fast as possible. Now, this is not really gonna be 19, uh, 1494 because um, if you have a look at this, um, these are the factors that are going to influence this. So, 10 development province, 0.08. 20 development province, another 0.08. And then nearby friendly provinces has renaissance, um, adjacent province has renaissance, and after 1500, European 5 development province gains 0. 0.16. So um, at some point this is going to spread through all of Europe, so Europe still has, um, still has an advantage over other parts of the world um, for gaining renaissance, but it's not as prominent as it was once. Um, and then we get, gain these bonuses, part of a state and 10% because we are at peace. I'm strongly considering actually bringing this up to 10 development. 48, it's 150 power points. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Definitely not admin. Uh, nobles demand increased pensions. Kings had to keep the unruly nobles in line through many methods. One of the most common was cold hard cash. Nobles would demand increased pensions in exchange for relinquishing certain rights to the king. We can either accept their demands, uh, which reduces our tax income loss. No, we gain tax income loss, reduces our taxes by 10% until 72, so for 20 years. Uh, and nobility gains 10 loyalty, or we can refuse their demands, which is gonna cost us stability. And nobility loses 10 loyalty. That's gonna hurt us either way. So, I mean, this is gonna make them loyal. So we're gonna lose the 10% uh, that we're paying for for land maintenance. So we're currently paying 1.70. So we're going, going to go um, uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.17 up. Or, or down, right? And uh, but we're going to lose a lot of taxation. Taxation is our main income. We're going to lose um, 35 ducats, 40 ducats even. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of cash. That's a lot of cash. On the other hand, losing stability, I'm not too keen on it. That's going to cost a hundred, hundred admin points. I'm going to do this. Got to do this. I'm not going to give up the admin points. I mean, we can cope with the tax loss. Just barely, I think, uh, because we have the second advisor. But yeah, it brought down the army maintenance, but it got rid of this one. That's not good. At least the um, nobility is no longer disloyal. So that's something gained, I guess. Um, and we can invest in the first tech, military tech. Should we do it? I don't see why not. Let's just go for it. Uh, military tactics and morale increase. Um, still could go for military advisor. I don't really want to spend the money right now. Although this guy could actually do something for us. It's one point. 
gaining 43 we would um, would help us by uh, giving us 0.15 um, so it would only cost us um, 0 0.75 0 0.85 0.85 um take that away from our balance so we would lose um 0.40 per month 0.42 per month i mean we could live with it i'd rather not i'd rather not no we, we can't do it we could debase our currency uh which was a quite a, a common maneuver back in the day just uh giving out um money with a reduced amount of um silver or gold um, but it's going to increase our corruption, and I really don't want that. Um, so let's just let's just have that run. How's the elector situation? Uh, we're getting somewhere with mines. We're still not quite there. Um, we're losing Brandenburg, though. Things are not looking too well. 25, 25. These are small margins. These are pretty small margins. So we're done with Trier. Could go up in Diplotech, Trade Range and Marketplace. I think I'm going to do it as well. It's not really a downside to it. And we are ahead of time. Only one year though, but that would... Um, we discovered an agent. And we could hire our guys out. Denmark, Clavis and um, Saxe Launburg. One Condottieri. Who are you fighting? Sweden, Scotland and Lithuania. Yeah, Lithuania is independent. Uh, because Poland decided not to take the personal union over Lithuania. Um, Denmark, eh? I would have to gain access to Denmark. I cannot go over Bohemia, which is a problem. I cannot go through here. I cannot go through here. I cannot go... Yeah, I could go through here. Then through there, through there, through there, through there. That's a long way. But it might be worth it. Uh, we might wanna we might wanna fight ourselves. I mean, hiring our troops out it's nice. But uh, what about what about Clevis over here? What are you doing? Oh, you're fighting Cologne. No, I'm not gonna help you. Uh, we definitely don't want that. We want Cologne to grow. Yeah, I guess I'm I guess I'm on my own. Um, Brandenburg needs a little bit of a uh, little bit of love. Once we are emperor. Um, the uh, imperial authority will work for us. Uh, that's going to be good. Uh, Ulm has a new uh, mayor, new burgermeister. And the imperial authority is becoming a problem because the higher that goes, the more likely they are vote to, uh, more likely they are vote for Austria again, which I don't really want. Mine seventy eight, Brandenburg eighty four. Oh, and Lüneburg returned unlawful territory. That's exactly the reason why I am allied with Austria, so that that doesn't happen. So Palatinate looking. Frankfurt, Salzburg, Würzburg, Nassau. No other electors. No other electors. I kind of, I, I really want to take that. Um, next diplomat that I get, uh, we're gonna start with the spy network. So, I mean, Taking Ansbach, it's also a good idea, but uh, waiting two more years. Baden, Salzburg, Nuremberg. So they would have 20,000. Oh, come on. Our heir is now embezzler. When ruling Bavaria, it will give us yearly corruption 0 0.05. Oh, come on. That's not good. That's not good. Our heir is corrupt. Our future king is corrupt. Oh, our, our future duke. We are no we are no king because we are in the HRE. So should I wait to attack Ansbach? I do have the um I do have the mission with the objective to take Ansbach. Okay, I can't do anything more for Brandenburg. Uh, oh sorry, that was that was my phone. The um battery is getting low. Let's go for Let's go for building a spy network. Spy detection, minus 4.2%. Okay, let's go. Let's hope that works. And we'll get the next tech, finally. Let's do this. 
can now build a church. Let's have a look. Churches are pretty good. Not too keen on the marketplaces because we aren't a trade power. What will we gain? 0.26 per month. I mean, it's steep. But the sooner you do it, the better. 0.26. 0.26. So that's uh, nearly three. Nearly three per year. So this will have amortized in um, 30 years. In 30 years, we will have paid this off. I don't think we can do that right now. I, I'd rather have a little bit of a war chest whenever this starts so that I can maybe hire some condottieri myself. Still building the spy network. And we're done with mines. And we've got a new pope. I'd rather we have a new emperor, but oh well. Um, Saxony is still close. Can't really swing anything with mines. Could we become their ally? Yes, we can. So I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. You are the enemy of Ansbach, Frankfurt and Nassau. Let's do it. Another vote. Potentially. Potentially. Yes. Okay. So that worked. I like it. I like it. So now we've got four votes. It is shaky. But we're getting there. Um... I'm going to gain favors. How many favors do we have with Trier now? Three. We've got Cologne. Four. Berlin. we got two. And we've got zero with Mainz. Um, we are. We do have one more relation now than we actually want, but that can't be helped. Um, at least not for now. So Denmark and the Teutonic Order would like to have units. Who are you fighting? Sweden, Scotland, Lithuania. Poland, Moldavia, Mazovia. Um, that's actually a way for Poland to grow a little bit stronger if they were to take over the Teutonic Order. Um, their power would definitely grow because these are these are pretty rich provinces. Um, let's have a look. Economic map mode. Development. Yeah, 11, 16. Danzig is pretty strong. 10, 10, 13. These are kind of low, but oh well. And they do have four forts, so they are, they are rather strongish. Um, Paris has a development of 32. Holy crap. Milan has a development of th of uh, 30. London has development of 22. So our Munich is only two notches smaller than London. Only one notch smaller than Vienna. Um, I think we, wanna, we might want to do a little bit more development in our capital. I'm not sure. So uh, we have to build up 20. We have to build up 20 power. Austria hired someone. Are you at war? Yeah, you're at war with the Ottomans. Oh, they might pull us into this. And we cannot go to war with a member of the Empire whilst we are fighting alongside the Emperor. That could hamper our stuff, but it could also... I mean... Georg von Schönberg, Alfred Kasper, Friedrich the thir uh, the Third von Habsburg. So this might be how this works. Um, if they get their their um, guy killed, their leader, then this is going to be good. Yeah, I, I thought this might happen. So it's a defensive war. We're going to join. Obviously, we're going to join. I'm not going to lose that much prestige. Um, in the... F oh, no! Come on! Yeah, I guess they... They get a lot of points because the Emperor is currently defending. Why though? Relations? Large nation in the Empire? Imperial authority? I guess they get a relations boost, uh, boost with them whilst they fight uh, an outside aggressor. So we have to actually hope that nothing happens over here and that their air survives. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have another... another um, 50 years of Habsburg. Well, in any case, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're gonna continue to vie for the Imperial Throne and I think we also might want to fight in this war. Maybe loot some of these provinces. There is loot that we could gain. So there's money to be made in this potentially if we if we do it cleverly i'm not sure if the ottomans can actually win let's have a look um no they have no chance <laughs>
That was ill advised of them. 43,000 infantry, 13,000 cavalry against 143,000 infantry and 50,000 cavalry. And what are they doing? They are trying to take that island that Genoa has down here. That little island, Skio or Chio, that is what they're trying to take. And because Genoa is in the HRE, they have pissed off the Emperor and they're gonna get that butt kicked. They're gonna get that butt kicked, uh, which is interesting. And we might be able to gain some favors with the Emperor. Why not? Uh, with Austria, that could be useful. Yeah, but for now, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks, and uh, hope I see you in one of my uh, other series or in the next episode. Bye-bye.